Good evening, everyone. We have a story to tell you. Do you want to hear that? Okay, come closer. Once upon a time, in some farmhouse, the mouse looked through the crack and saw the farmer and his wife opening a package. What food could this be? But he was devastated to see that the package contained a mouse trap. He retreated to the farmyard and shouted, "There's a mouse trap in the house! There's a mouse trap in the house!" He ran into chicken's coop and told her, "There's a mouse trap in the house. There's a mouse trap in the house." The chicken cried and said, "I can see you concerned about this mouse, but it's of no concern to me." Then the mouse ran to the pig and shouted, "There's a mouse trap in the house." The pig said, "Too bad, but it's not of any concern to me." The mouse. Ran to the cow, and he said, "There's a mouse trap in the house." The cow said, "I can see your concern, but it's no skin of my nose." The little mouse. Went back very sadly to fetch the mouse trap. Little mouse feels really sad. That night, there was the sound of the trap catching its prey. The farmer's wife rushed to the trap. In the dark, she did not see that the trap had. She watched catcher the tail of a poisonous snake. The farmer's wife developed a bad fever. As you know, when someone gets a fever, what do you feed her? Chicken soup. The farmer got his axe and went to the farmyard to get the main ingredient. Why me? The chicken shouted to the sky for her last moment. Run. The wife's illness continued. Many people came to visit her. The farmer needed to feed them all. He went to the farmyard once again and slaughtered the pig. Let me go! He shouted to the sky and fed his last morning.
Unfortunately, the farmer's wife passes away from her illness. There was a large funeral, and of course, the folks at the funeral need to be fed. Once again, the farmer went to the farmyard, and this time he got the cow. It's my turn. The cow struck that because he didn't concern to the mouse. The moral of this story is that when one of us is intruded, all of us are at least. Each of our problem is of concern to another. Each of us is a vital to it in the tempestry of another's life. Be concerned to other problem and help each other is the best way to live together. Thank you for listening to this story. Goodbye.